experience a difficulty of sleeping or excessive of sleeping. That one is actually the indicator that you are actually stressed. Okay? And sometimes you weight gain or weight loss. Both is actually indicate the stress. Okay? Panic attacks. It always happens to severe type of person. Okay? Sometimes uh, it's about to explode level then it become a panic attack. Okay? Difficulty concentrating. You are easy to distract. You cannot concentrate in your lecture. You can concentrate while you're writing your thesis and article. All right? And then excessive sleeping, I mentioned previously. Fatigue, it will lead to nausea, feeling overwhelmed because the adrenaline rush inside your blood. Okay? And then you're feeling like shriving sometimes. And then it leads to obsessive or compulsive behavior. Okay? If you say yes to three to five indicator, then you are actually stressed. Okay? Sometimes we think that we're okay and sometimes you meet with your friends and your friends say, no, I'm not stressed, I'm enjoy this journey. No. They just want to comfort you. Okay? They just want to comfort you and um, influence you. Come, 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 do PhD, you know, that kind of thing. Because we enjoy this journey. No, no, it's not true. Because at certain point, you will experience the stress by yourself. Okay? Alright, so yes. This is seven facts about stress that you really need to know. It is a silent killer. It causes of about a six critical illness. It will lead to diabetes. It will increase your blood sugar levels. Okay? But on the positive side of stress, like we did earlier, okay, laughter could be the best medicine. Because laughter can reduce the stress hormones and increase your positive hormones and increase your immune system. So please, stop being grumpy. Okay? Don't angry at small things or big things. Just take calm, take easy of everything. Not everything. Don't take too easy. But take easy on certain things. Alright? Okay, so that's how we actually want to produce laughter. And sometimes chuckle is actually can help us. Chuckle a little bit. Look at your friends doing it, or whatever it is, the senaman tadi itu kan? And then you chuckle a little bit. Macam itulah. Okay, so the chuckle actually will help to produce the hormones. Tapi janganlah fake chuckle. <laughs> janganlah hehehe. <laughs> Macam fake sangat kan? Then give a little chuckle, you know? What I noticed during my journey? This is actually a series and it become a domino effect in my life. Okay, first of all, I don't know what to do because lack of skills. Okay, I don't know how to prepare for the articles. I don't know how to find my problem statement. I don't know how to write an articles. I don't know how to write a concept paper for the first semesters. So all of it actually consume me. I don't know how and I don't know how I want to do that. So lack of skills is one of the things. Okay, when we have lack of skills, we don't have skills, then we start to overthinking. Oh my God, semester satu dah habis. Sem one is already gone. Now we are on sem two. But there's no paper, ISI's corpus was not yet. So we start to overthinking. Okay, and those conditions will lead us to procrastination. Because we don't know how to do, then we tend to procrastinations. Okay, we're doing eight for third semester, fourth semester, we are not really prepared for the articles and so on so on. So this actually become a domino effect and give me a lot of stress. Okay. When you are focusing on your thesis, sometimes you don't even bother to take your lunch. You skip your lunch, you skip your breakfast, and then you take for granted for the loved persons that are around you. Okay? So we always take it granted for we ourselves, you yourself, okay? And then there's so many excuses. Why you don't have your lunch? Allah, too many work lah. You know, this one is approaching the deadline lah. Too many things to do lah. What we call this? Alasan, excuses. But in my program, I don't call it excuse. I call it bangau. You know bangau? I'm not sure about Horeno, of course you don't know Bangau, right? But we Malay, we have a song that telling a story about a bird. What we call that? Stock. Bangau. 
Okay, in Melayu, in Bahasa Melayu, we call it as a bangau. So we have a song in Bahasa Melayu. Okay, orang-orang uh, Melayu, can we sing the song to our foreigner? Boleh tak kita sing the song? Okay, boleh? Alright, so now. Uh, macam mana? Bangau or bangau? Kenapa engkau kurus? Kenapa bangau kurus? Sebab tak makan. Okay, bangau is so slim skinny because it didn't eat. Okay, kenapa dia tak makan? Kayu api basah. Kayu api basah? Ni tak tahu lagu ni. Ikan tak timbul. Ikan kenapa tak timbul? Rumput panjang sangat. Rumput kenapa panjang? Kau tak makan aku. Kebau kenapa tak makan rumput? Sakit perut. Perut kenapa sakit? Makan nasi mentah. Nasi kenapa mentah? Kayu api basah. Kayu api kenapa basah? Hujan timpa aku. Hujan kenapa timpa kayu api? Katak panggil aku. Katak kenapa panggil hujan? Ular nak makan aku. Ular kenapa nak makan katak? Memang makanan aku lah. See how we make an excuses. From the skinny bangau, okay? The skinny bangau blame until the snake. Alright, so how many excuses that we give in our daily basis? Alright, so so many excuses. Now, in my programs, I call this as bangau. So, from now on, the first thing that you will learn today is stop giving excuses. Okay, so in Bahasa Melayu, we call it bangau. Alright, so stop giving excuses. Then today, we will say this together. Stop bangawing. Boleh nak? Okay, follow me please. Stop bangawing. Kuat-kuat tak dengar lah. Stop bangawing. Turn to the person next to you and say to face. Stop bangawing. Stop bangawing. Stop making any excuses. So now you, you and you, all the foreign students, now you know one term in Malay, which is bangawing. See? Uh, stop bangawing. Alright? You know what? We are focused, but we are not aware. I like this statement. Stop to smell the flowers. Okay? In our journey to find the most beautiful flowers, just stop a while and smell the flowers. Because actually that one is the thing that you will enjoy the most. Okay? In our life, we tend to not aware. Okay? Don't be aware until something bad things happen. Okay? When your loved one dies, then you just want to say, I love you. When your loved one dies, then you just want to take care of them. You're not there anymore. Don't be aware when bad things happen in your life. You have to be aware all the time. Focus and be aware of your surroundings. Please, these strategies help me a lot. Okay? Because when I'm too focusing on certain jobs or certain things that I did, I tend to not aware what happens to my surrounding, what happened to my kids, what happened to my husband, what happens to their feelings. Because actually, our family actually contribute a lot to us. The first one, I start to enroll in workshop. Of course, the first semester you have already identified whether you want to do qualitative, quantitative or mixed method. You also have to identify what is the type of data analysis that you want to use to analyze your data. Okay, so starting point is you need to enroll in workshop because it's not enough in just in the classroom at your university. Okay, I enroll in a lot of workshop. SPSS, experimental, qualitative analysis. I also enroll in to study skills, how to analyze the qualitative data using Atlas TI and Vivo. Okay, I also go to the workshop like Mendeley and go to workshop like writing thesis technique, how to write thesis in a, a short time. There's so many workshops outside there. Okay, so please enroll in workshop. This workshop will give you some kind of insights or different perspective on how you want to finish the journey earlier, smoother, with less stressful. Okay, because we already have the skills that we need to analyze all the data that we gathered in our journey. 
Okay, reach out, please, reach out. The simplest or easier way to reach out is, uh, ini bagus juga social media ni, walaupun you have to silent the social media, but social media is also good. Because in social media, when you follow a certain figures, and important figures in academic world, okay, for example, like professor from other universities, they always share something, they always share information in their social media. Okay, so please, follow an important figures in academic world to reach out. Okay, sometimes they will share about how to analyze the data and so on so on. Okay, please. So, nanti add, eh? Alright, next. I also go for personal coaching. Because sometimes when we enroll in workshop with too many students, we don't have any chances to ask a very specific things about our studies. Okay, so I also find and search for personal coaching. That means when it comes to analyze the data, remember I pergi personal coaching. So, the coach will coach me one by one how to, what to do with my data. Okay, so that is the advantages of personal coaching because it's just about me. It's just about you. It's not about many, many people. Alright, next, manage your time. So, after you walk out from this door, please manage your time well. Sebab time management ni kalau boleh dia kena ada satu lagi bengkel Sebab dia ada memang certain specific things that you need to focus on the time management However, I just touch here and there today, okay? So you have to go out a daily timetable When to eat, when to solat, you know? When to go out dating, when to go out to spa And then 2 hours for your thesis Enough You don't have to spend uh, 16 hours for your thesis And then 2 hours sleep No, it's not good Because enough sleep is very important in our life Especially when you are actually PhD candidates, okay? Sleep is very important to avoid you to become stressful. Okay, next, take action. Perform the daily schedule that you have created. Ini tak jadual ada cantik. The timetable is already tuned up. But then you did not follow the timetable. Okay, so please, take action. Discipline yourself to follow the timetable. Unless... Kalau raya, macam celebration, okey lah, just cheat kan, cheat for one day. But janganlah raya sampai satu bulan, one month raya, no. Okay, one day cukup lah kot. Cheat day kita panggil eh, okey lah. Alright, next, self reward. I do this often. Okay, I always do this. I reward myself with something that I like. It's not necessary... It's not necessary an expensive things or an expensive vacation, but I always reward myself. For example, just a bar of chocolate, okay, or just a one session in spa. Spa, je, eh? but yes, yeah, spa is so relaxing. You can try that. You have we have so many spa here, right? Inside the mall, so just go. Okay, come to UTMKL and go to spa for two hours, and after that, writing your thesis. We have spa for men also. No worries. Okay, you go and take a spa session. Okay, then, please, enough sleep. That one is very important. Diet and exercise. How many of us here diet and exercise? Yes. Okay, very good. So that's why the level of stress is still low. Okay, now, this one is actually, is to ensure you socialize with the environment and also socialize with the people. Okay, so diet and exercise is the most important thing. I think it is important thing for us to take care of, okay? Please, don't take things for granted. So this one is the most important thing too. Small gift. Just give yourself a small gift. After you finish anything, finish to publish the articles, or you tend to analyze one data, then give yourself a gift. Reward yourself, okay? A small chocolate, a small basket robin ice cream, it should be good, alright? And quick vacation. Sometimes I did a staycation. Staycation means I go and book a hotel next to my house. Just want to change the environment. So our family call it a staycation. It's not vacation, it's staycation. Okay, just for one night. Alright, bring the children, go to mandi kolam, you know, push the pool and whatsoever. Alright, so it should be enough. Staycation. Okay, so all these things are the practical strategies that I use to deal with stress.
Okay, and I also want to advise you, please, huh, for the first semester, maybe first semester, it is advisable for you to publish at least one article. Okay, so if you have a roti template like I used uh, to show you previously, you already have the initial idea of your whole research. Okay, so from there on, you can actually determine which part that you want to publish as an article. Okay, so for the beginner, like you, how many times? How many semester? First semester. It is very good for you to publish first article in first semester. Okay? So, you don't have to go for the data, but maybe you can go for the systematic literature review, review articles, or the concept paper. So, at least, at least, if you, want, if you have to wait for one year, then you still, you have a chance to graduate on time. Okay? At this moment, graduate on time has become become so important for the university. Even it's not for us, but it's for university, it's very important for us to graduate on time. But for me personally, I also think that graduate on time have to be your main objective when you start your journey. Okay? Because when the journey is actually taking a longer time, then you will experience more hair loss. Okay? More stressful. Hair loss, yes, exactly. Because I'm starting doing PhD, then my hair start to Memang macam tu Masuk semester kedua, into the second semester, then more hair loss You know, so it means more stressful Because hair loss is actually the indicator that you are in stressful condition I tak tahu lah abang-abang yang hair loss ni macam mana kan Tapi tadi stressful, not so stressful kan Okay, so please, alright Graduate on time Sorry, yes It's important for the university to graduate Oh, that one is actually what we call as KPI. So all the universities now actually want to reach the KPI, how many graduate on time for that semester? Yes, it's even if not for us, maybe we don't actually expect that we graduate on time, but it is actually advisable for you to target to graduate on time. Okay, because if it's longer the time, then the stress also will become unbearable. So what's the time frame for that, according to the university? <laughs> I think minimum three years and maximum uh, eight years? Uh, yes, eight years. Eight years. Yes, minimum is three years. For me, uh, because I know, uh, I'm enrolled in UPM, so UPM for part time also three years is graduate on time. Uh, but maybe for other universities, the graduate on time is actually a bit different. Three years also here. Yeah. yeah. So three years. So the maximum years is eight years. Okay, so please bear in mind graduate on time. With all these tools, it can help you to pursue this journey much more easier. Okay? Alright, so one take home message for all of you. Okay? Hans Sally put it right when he said, It's not stress that kills us, but it is our reaction to it. Okay? Like I mentioned previously, stress is inevitable. It's unavoidable. Every one and each of us experience stress. Okay, so whether we face it, we make a choice, we take it for granted, we make it so many excuses, the reaction is actually that kills us. Okay, so I think from the beginning of the sessions, I have embedded uh, to you and then I want you to learn something which is the first and foremost, which is don't take things for granted. Okay, and the second one is don't give so many excuses. Okay, which is what we call in this program is? Stop bangawing. Okay, stop bangawing. And please make self care as a priority. Okay, because I really love an analogy airplane. Airplane analogy. Okay, when you go up the plane, in the, inside the plane, you have to put an oxygen mask to yourself first before you help others. Okay, if you are not feeling well, if you are ill health, then how you want to manage your family, manage your husband, and manage your kids, and manage your wife? Okay, so please. Self care as a priority. Okay? Alright, please say it together with me. Stop bangawing. 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 With the hands, please. Together with the hands. Stop bangawing. Look at the person next to you. Say it in your face. Stop bangawing. Yes, okay. So, <laughs> yes, correct, sir. Say it louder. Oh, is she? 
It's not Banawi. 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 <laughs> okay, it should be good. Alright, as long as it sounds like Banawi. Okay? It's not Banawi, yeah? It's not banana -ing. It's a different thing. Okay, so I think that's all for me. Uh, my name is Karima. I'm from Raza, Faculty of Raza. I'm now in my second semester in UTM. First of all, I would like to congratulate uh, PGS at MG for organizing this course this morning, which is, I think, a very successful event. And this is needed actually for uh, postgraduate students, especially. This is some sort one of the platform for them to release the stress. Uh, even though some of them claim they do not have the stress yet, but believe. Uh, they do have the stress but they don't maybe they don't realize it yet um, hi my name is Shilan Semin Hamid I'm from Iraq I study PhD at MJIIT um, I'm at first semester so I decided to come to this seminar to get relaxed and less stress and uh, here I feel so re uh, so relaxed after the, this session so I thank all the people that have decided to arrange this seminar for us. Thank you.